here and today I am so excited about this makeup look. So as you may know if you watch me a lot, I love purple lips. I love them so much. It's one of my favorite lip colors to wear and every time I wear purple lips I get requests to do a tutorial on a wearable look with purple lips and normally when I wear purple lips I just do falsies and a little bit of lower lash line and that's it but I've done that a ton of my channel just falsies and I wanted to add something different and unique so I created this purple glitter cut crease with no eyeshadow just glitter there's also no winged liner and this is something I haven't really seen before and I was kind of nervous to do but it just popped in my head the other day and I wanted to create it on camera for you guys and this is how it turned out I'm super proud of it I think it is super wearable you could always just do this eye and then a nude lip if you want but I think it goes perfectly with the purple I think if I were to do like a purple smoky eye it would be too much with the purple you could also just not even do the glitter and then just do lashes like I usually do but I think this is super cool I would totally do this look with like gold glitter cut crease and just brown on the lower lash line you could always exchange colors I think this is a perfect way to play with color subtly I have so many more looks in mind that I want to play with this summer and I'm just so excited to bring them to life for you guys be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like this look and you want me to experiment with more colorful and out there looks. also be sure to keep in mind something to comment down below I love reading all your comments and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's such a fun time around here. I promise you will not regret sticking around. But without further ado, if you want to see how I got this purple look, then keep on watching. Okay, I'm really excited to get started. I got my purple shirt on. This is from Boohoo, by the way. I'm obsessed with it. I just changed out my earrings for the first time. Well, my third hole and my cartilage. I don't know, felt like I'd share. But the first thing I'm going to do is take my Mario Badescu rose water spray. I just got a refill of this and I'm just gonna spray this on my face. I miss this stuff so much. Okay, next I'm gonna try this new product I received from Smashbox. It's their photo finish primerizer and I have been so excited to try this just because I love moisturizing primers. It's kind of my go-to in a primer, so let's try this out. Okay, wow, this feels kind of like water. It's really wet but it's really, really thin. It instantly like feels like you splashed your face with water. So, super hydrating. So far, so good, of course. I'm gonna see how long my makeup lasts and I will keep you guys updated. Also, now I'm gonna apply this La Roche Posay Double Repair Moisturizer with SPF 30 just because I'm gonna be outside today and I am going to need to protect my skin. So, I'm just gonna put it around my nose and my cheek area because this is kind of the area that the sun hits first and where I will get like little tiny freckles but of course I'm gonna disperse this everywhere just mainly focusing it right there the foundation I'm using today later on it the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea water-based foundation I'm obsessed with this you already know especially if you watch my videos um, last summer this was my go-to and I decided to go back to it but this has SPF 15 in it as well so we will be super protected from the Sun okay so now while I do the rest of my makeup I'm just gonna let these products soak in and we're actually gonna do our foundation after the eyes are done so before I start my eyes I'm gonna quickly fill in my eyebrows and today I'm gonna use my Anastasia brow Wiz, and I'm in the shade chocolate I believe and I'm also gonna go in with my benefit brow products and definitely my gimme brow to set and then I'm also going to clean up my brows with concealer and then set my lids with concealer and translucent powder because that's all we're doing to the lids and then when I'm done I will be back and we will continue on with the eye look. While I do this, I'm turning on some music. right now I'm having a little bit of trouble with them today a little bit more effort than usual putting in but I'm sweeping away the translucent powder right away um, to create a smooth base on my lids okay so now that I fixed up my brows a little bit they're not 
fully complete but once I have my foundation on I'll go in and finalize them. We are now going to start the eye look. So today there's going to be no eyeshadow. We're just going to do a plain glitter cut crease. So we're just going to have the glitter and then we're going to pop some lashes on and that will literally be it. Today I'll be using my Too Faced glitter glue. These glitters, so this one is from the website Bulk Glitters or now they're super glitters. I'll have them linked down below and this is the shade Purple Moon. And then I also have these chunkier purple glitters that I got off of an Etsy shop and I plan on like once I'm done putting this glitter on I'm gonna take this glitter and kind of pat it some places to give some dimension. So I'm gonna be using this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and I'm gonna be using this purple glitter side. My plan is to go in with this and trace out the cut crease with also dipping into the glitter and I want a really gradient fade so I want it to be really thin and I don't want it to get like thick, but I want to make sure that the inner corner is thin. So there's like a little outline, right? Now I'm going to go in with my glitter. Q-tip on hand. It's really going to help make it as clean as possible. You want to make sure to perfect the inner and outer corners. So right now, as you can see, they're a little like jagged. There's not really a fade. And you want to make sure that the end is crisp. Okay, so this is kind of the rough outline. I'm going to go back in once I do the other eye, but I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye and let's hope for the best. Okay, so I'm continuing to like build up the pigment and pop more glitter on and get it perfect how I want it, the shape, everything. Okay, so now that I have this outline, I'm going to wipe glitter off where I don't want it. And I'm wiping underneath my eyes because we're going to be putting foundation and concealer and we don't want it to get cakey. I'm going to pump some primerizer one time and place that underneath my eyes just to make sure they're hydrated. I'm also going to take my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Base and place this on the areas that I normally do. Now I'm going to place my foundation on and also my concealer and then we'll have the look start to form together. I'm now putting on my shape tape. So now that I have my bake underneath my eyes, I'm going to set the rest of my face. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off the eyes and go back in with my glitter liner and really crisp this up and perfect it. take my Morphe 35P palette which has a bunch of purpley shades. I'm gonna take this bright purple and I'm gonna smoke this under my lower lash line. Okay so I'm not winging this out I just want the purple to be under the lower lash line and I'm also gonna take this Makeup Geek full spectrum eyeliner pencil in Orchid and it's this bright purple and I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Oh wow that eyeliner is really pigmented. 
And now I'm going to place a thin line. I'm not going to wing out at all. I'm just going to pop some lashes on. I'm going to use the Coco Lashes in Demi G. I love these lashes. I'm also going to take the Aurora Glow Kit. And I'm going to take Spectra and I'm going to put that in my inner corner. And I'm also going to do my lower lashes. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I'm loving them. I'm gonna move on and contour my face. And now for my blush, I take the blush that's in the palette first, just to have the wash of color. And then whenever I wear purple lipstick, you'll see what blush I love to use. It makes the whole look come together so nicely. I like to mix Justify My Love and Your Love Is King. And these are so pigmented, so you wanna really lightly go in and then tap. I mainly use Justify My Love just cause it's a little bit lighter. And also then Your Love Is King. Don't be afraid to experiment with colored blushes because they really tie looks in a lot. And you could always go in with your bronzer and make sure everything's all good. And then I'm going to apply some highlights. I'm taking the Tardis Pro Glow Palette and I did originally want to use this for my contour, but I forgot to cream contour, but it's all good. I'm definitely going to use this in another video very soon, um, full on just this, but... Just add in some glow. And I do want to add that purple highlight in the Aurora palette that I placed in the inner corner, but I don't want it to be too much. So that's why I'm applying this as a base and then we're going to go back in. Wow, Tarte highlights, the ones that I've tried, are popping. I'm going to ever so lightly take Spectra and really tap that off. And I just want like a purple sheen, like when I turn my face. The eyes are already our focal point, so we want to make sure that we don't go too crazy. And then lastly, the lip color I always use when I do purple lips is Heroin by MAC, and I'm gonna use the lip liner, and then I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. But to add dimension, because I want it to be a little bit deeper to match a little bit better, I'm gonna take this dark purple eyeshadow and pop this in the corners. Now sweeping this away, I'm going to spray my face. Glow just a little bit more. So that is it for this video. I am obsessed with how this look turned out and I hope you guys are as well. If you decide to recreate it with any color or this color or whatever, definitely be sure to send me a picture. I would love to see or tag me in any of your posts. This was definitely a little bit tricky my first time like doing just the glitter and perfecting it, but as long as you have Q-tips on hand and you're patient, it will be a-okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.